Hey everyone, this is a full in-depth overview for StickyWeb. StickyWeb lets you pair it directly in the composition just by drawing a mask on top of your layers. And it makes anchoring so much easier. You can adjust multiple anchor points quickly, accurately, and even at the same time. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through every part of StickyWeb. Just a quick note, not all features are available in the trial version. To see what is available, check out the products page on AE scripts and AE plugins. Before I get started, let me just show you how StickyWeb works. First, click the StickyWeb button. Second, in the Anchors layer, move your anchor points. Third, in the Web layer, grab the pen tool and pair it from the inside out. Finally, run StickyWeb again, and you're done. I think it's important to see how it works before we get into the details. All right, let's get started. Once you download StickyWeb, open up the zip file. Inside, you get the script itself, a PDF guide, and a training course project to practice on. To install the script, just drag the script file into your Script UI Panels folder. On Windows, you'll find the folder in here, and on Mac, you'll find the folder in here. Once you move the file into here, just restart After Effects. And under the Window dropdown, you'll find StickyWeb. Pop it open, add your license, and you're good to go. The PDF guide has everything you need to know. And the training course project contains different characters to practice on. They come with hints you can turn on and off, and pre-made characters for you to experiment with. In the StickyWeb panel, you have two buttons. The button on the left is StickyWeb, and the button on the right are the settings. I'll go more into the settings a bit later. When you click StickyWeb, the script will load all of the anchor points in your composition. It will lock and solo your layers, and also create two new StickyWeb layers. These are where you do your magic. The web layer is where we draw the parenting hierarchy, and the anchors layer is where we adjust the anchor points. To adjust the anchor points, select the anchors layer. When this anchors layer is selected, grab the selection tool and simply click and move the anchor points in the comp. Also, be sure to have show masks enabled, as the anchor points are actually mask points that you move around. The anchors will be locked in once we click the sticky web button again. By default, StickyWeb will reduce the opacity of every layer. This is the X-Ray setting. X-Ray helps you see where the layers overlap. Moving the anchor points to the middle of the overlap gives the best results when it comes to rigging characters. You can select multiple anchor points at once and adjust them at the same time. Hold Shift and select multiple anchor points. Or, with one selected, use the selection box with the selection tool. You can then move multiple anchors simultaneously. And if you double click them, you get the transformation box, allowing you to scale, flip, and rotate. This is crazy helpful, especially if you have symmetrical characters. Once everything is in place, lock it all down by clicking StickyWeb. The script will detect that it's currently running, so it'll go ahead and lock in all the changes you've made. Another little tidbit as you move anchor points, the info panel will tell you the name of the layer that you're adjusting. If you have a bunch of anchors and you're not quite sure which layers you're dealing with, that info panel will help you out. To parent the layers, select the web layer. This layer will be selected by default. On this layer, we grab the pen tool and draw the parenting of the composition directly on top of the layers. We parent by drawing a web outwards, from the base of the hierarchy out towards the tip. To do this, grab the pen tool and click near the anchor point of the body. Then add the next vertex on the base of the arm, then the middle, finally the tip. You don't need to click exactly on the anchor point, close enough is good enough. Now we draw the web for the other layers. To do this, add a new mask. The easiest way to do this is to hit Ctrl A and then start drawing a new mask. If you don't hit Ctrl A, then we'll just keep adding to the previous mask. Once all the limbs are webbed up, click Sticky Web and your parenting webs will stick into place. Creating new masks for each limb is the cleanest way to do it. However, if you want to get really fast, you can just use one web for everything. To use one web, parent one arm, then continue back to the base and start the next limb, and again and again and again. Sticky web will know that you've begun a new chain and will parent everything accordingly. Once you get comfortable with this tool, you might find it easier and quicker parenting this way. Adding an IK rig is quick and easy. As you parent your layers, simply add two extra mask points at the end, near the final anchor point. StickyWeb will notice that the last three mask points are all near the same layer. This is the signal to add IK expressions to these layers. Once you run StickyWeb, 
the limb is rigged. There are no additional layers needed. Just move the outer layer itself and the limb will move with it. It also works on just two layers. You don't need three layers to add a sticky web IK. For example, this spider doesn't have any hands or feet, but we can do the exact same thing to turn it into an IK rig. First, parent the limbs as we normally would. Then we add a third mask point exactly where we want the foot to be. Finally, add two more mask points near it, just as we did earlier. StickyWeb will notice that the three masks you added are all a little too far from other layers. So, once we click StickyWeb, a goal layer will be added, right where we added that third mask point. You can even add an IK at the end of a long web. This means you can still draw a long web, add an IK, and continue drawing your web. Open up the StickyWeb training course project and give it a try. When parenting, we can draw closed loops to capture multiple layers and parent them to a single target. For example, a face. It has layers for the mouth, the eyes, nose, ears, mullet, etc, etc. It would get pretty annoying to parent all of these to the face one at a time. Normally, you need to select each layer, then altogether parent them to the face. But with StickyWeb, we just draw a loop around all of these layers, and then we can parent them to whatever we want. So, to parent them to the face, just add another web right on the face anchor point. What happens is StickyWeb looks inside of that loop for any mask points that you've added. Then it will parent all of the captured layers to wherever that mask point is pointing at. This means that you can actually parent from the neck to the face, then draw a loop around the entire head, and will instantly parent everything to that face. Let's check out another example. This explorer has a hand with a lot of fingers. Parenting each finger to the hand would be tedious. So a simpler method would be drawing a loop around the fingers and the hand, and also webbing up the arm and hands as well. The fingers will be parented to the first web it sees inside that loop. So what happens if you draw a loop, but you don't add any webs in there? It parents them to a new null. As usual, open up the training course and give it a try. In the settings, we can customize the way that StickyWeb runs. X-Ray will reduce the opacity of each layer by 50%. This makes it easier to see where layers overlap. Colorized layers will add a tritone effect to each layer. They'll be colorized to match the anchor points, which will help you identify which anchor is linked to which layer. Ignore Guides layers will skip any layers with Guides layer enabled. Load Parents will convert any existing parent hierarchies into webs. This is handy if you made an error and you want to quickly readjust. Unstack anchors will check if there are any overlapping anchor points and then pull them apart. AutoWeb will attempt to preload webs based on your AutoWeb list settings. I'll elaborate on this one in a bit. Relevant bounding box. As you draw your webs, StickyWeb will show you which layer the latest vertex is pointing to. It will draw a bounding box around the target layer. All bounding boxes will show you all the bounding boxes for all the layers. Their colors will match their anchors, making it easier for you to tell which layer belongs to which anchor. Default selected layers. When you run StickyWeb, it selects one of the StickyWeb layers by default. This is to help you jump right into either parenting or anchoring. Hit the save button to lock in your new default settings. Hit help to pop open the AE scripts and AE plugins help menu. Hit undo StickyWeb to cancel the script. This can be a whole lot easier than hitting Ctrl Z a bunch of times. AutoWeb is a magic button to parent your characters for you. If you rig humanoids often, you might find yourself parenting shoulders, forearms, and hands over and over. When you run StickyWeb with AutoWeb turned on, it will create webs instantly based on the AutoWeb list. To get to this list, jump into the settings and click the AutoWeb list button. The AutoWeb list comes with presets for you to modify, as well as a few buttons. Update saves any changes made to this list. Reset resets everything to the system default. Cancel close this list without saving your changes. Help a pop up window fully explaining how to use AutoWeb. When you run StickyWeb, AutoWeb will go through this list one line at a time. It attempts to build a web for each line. To understand how it does this, let's just delete everything else for now and focus only on the top line. First, if the line starts with a tag, bracket, IK, bracket, it knows to try and turn this line into an IK web. Next are the search terms. It looks at the first search term, torso. StickyWeb will look for a layer named torso. Third, it spots a right arrow symbol. 
This tells us that it'll draw a web from torso on the left to the next layer on the right. Then it looks for the next search term, left shoulder, and so on and so on and so on. It'll do this for each line in the list, building a web as we go. If a single search term can't be found, then it'll skip the whole line. Since AutoWeb is loaded before you start anchoring, the webs are built to be dynamic. This means that you can still adjust the anchor points and the webs will adapt to you perfectly. If you want to give this a try, it's built to work perfectly on the simple explorer from the training course. Over time, feel free to add your own webs to this list. Sometimes you might want to adjust the settings for a quick one-time use. Maybe you don't want auto web this time, or maybe you do want bounding boxes just for a little bit. That's what the quick set menu is for. Simply shift click the sticky web button and this window will appear. In here, you choose which settings you'd like, then click on either full or custom to run sticky web. Full will instantly run sticky web with all of the settings enabled, whereas custom will run it with whatever you choose. By default, custom has a bare minimum. So it goes without saying that custom will execute much faster than full. With your download comes the Sticky Web training course. This After Effects project comes with a couple of different characters for you to practice with. In this training course folder, you'll learn about the fundamentals of Sticky Web. Each one comes with a hint layer at the top, just in case you need a refresher. The Sample Rigs folder contains the characters with nothing prepared. No anchors, no parenting, nothing. If you want to practice on more complicated rigs with no guidance, here's where you go. Sticky Web will skip any 3D layers, adjustment layers, and locks layers. If you try adjusting the anchor points on layers that have the positions or anchor points animated, Sticky Web will ignore these and then give you a list of the layers it skipped. If the script breaks at any point for any reason, an alert will appear describing when and where it broke. If it happens a lot and it's a problem, raise a support ticket in the help section of the script. Explain in detail the kind of error you got and I'll look into it as soon as possible. As you can see, Sticky Web is a super handy tool to get your characters up and running at the start of your projects. To be honest, I've used it for dozens of projects so far and on who knows how many characters. It's honestly been so helpful and saved me so much time and stress. If you deal with a lot of characters in your job, Sticky Web will be a very, very welcome addition.